All I want you to do is press the button in your right hand every time you see a yellow dot. You'll hear a buzzer to confirm that you've pressed the button. Understand? Brilliant. Let's begin. terms of fashion, who knows? Me and Stevie have discussed at length how long this obsession with the 90s fashion is going to look. She, she puts forward the idea that if we just keep going backwards, we'll end up in the 1800s. Cod pieces and corsets will be the way forward, people. There'll be women passing out in the streets and all sorts. Smiling, a strange phenomenon. They're infectious, spontaneous. It's a social action. Someone offers you theirs, so it's only kind to return one as a response. You smile and wave when a friend is that bit too far away and you're both in a rush. It's enough to tell them that you've acknowledged them, that they matter to you. So what will happen when I can't receive a smile? How will I know my smiles have been given to the right person? That they are even registered? This is a very belated birthday present. Oh, that's really sweet, thank you. Um, the first ever show we did, do you remember? Yeah. We were really, really terrible. <laughs> we didn't actually press record. For <laughs> we weren't hour. on air for half an hour. Yeah. Like I'm getting really carried away with all the under the radar music. The migraine music. No, it isn't good. <laughs> Thank you, that's really sweet. There will come a point where I won't need to take photos anymore. They'll serve no purpose. You look at a photo and it's a refresher. A tether stops your brain from making up things entirely. Then all I'll have left is memory. And as we know, memory, it's unreliable. You fill in the blanks. And I won't have these refreshers, these tethers to keep it in check. So pretty soon, those memories will just fade. This is a great new track from Ride, and it's gonna be perfect for ambient chilled out listening it's going to be great if you're driving or studying at the moment uh, i really love this one it's hypnotic and it's just a beautiful track it's called scintillate Sorry, I didn't realise you. No, no I'll, fine, I'll grab honestly. some. Um, no, don't worry about it. I was joking. Clear it up. Sorry, I've just been a bit on edge. I've got no, some news. It's okay. I'll, um, I'll just go grab some. Okay. Sure. My understanding of the world will shrink. It will only stretch as far as I can reach. Everything a surprise. No time to prepare. Only to react. Nothing will exist when it doesn't make a sound, when it doesn't touch my fingertips. And that, that is terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. There's this guy, John Hull, said that it's the easiest disability to simulate. You just close your eyes, right? But it's the trickiest to empathise with. Because try as you might to pretend otherwise, you have a sighted person's brain. You picture the room you are sitting in as you see it when the light is turned on. 
You picture the face of a person you hear the voice of. Now try to think of a person you love and don't let an image of them enter your head. Just try it. Okay, so I didn't tell you earlier, but I entered us into this competition ages ago and completely forgot about it. But basically, they've shortlisted us and we could be in with a chance of a proper slot. Slightly different format, so they want us to do some sight reading test run thing next week, but what do you reckon? Um, yeah, no, that, that sounds amazing. I know. So, what's this news then? What did you want to tell me? Um... Okay, that was excellent, really good stuff. We're just going to, to try another test out. You missed a few of the dots, I'm afraid. <laughs> 